Okay, hello YouTube, every brother and sister out there, guy and gal, whatever. Ah, hey there guys. I had a couple of junked radios given to me. Um, this is uh, from a Roberts, I can't remember which one it was because the case was junked at the back, it was pretty much covered in paint. Um, And so I just tried to get it working. At first, it didn't work, um, and I I don't get anything particularly on medium wave, long wave. I think it's the oscillator is going a bit nuts. This has all been fiddled and faffed around with. I don't know if you can see. Probably not, but it's it's chipped. Um, so someone's had a metal screwdriver in these cans. Uh, but I have as my, myself because I managed to get FM working but I'm not showing you this right now because it's all disconnected and this is another um, this is actually like a toolbox and my mate who's a painting decorator it, it's never worked uh, the radio he's had it for like years and I ripped the, the radio part off this uh, the toolbox and gave him the toolbox back and I took the radio out and this is the actual radio um, and now it does work it has a bit of an issue but it, it does work um, the wires here we've got a speaker it's a 4 ohm oops that's a bit of a capacitor I probably shouldn't throw that on there either because that's my little that's the amplifier. We've got music. This is the little music player. Just getting through this little amplifier, which is, I don't know if you can hear it, but I can. And that's what I want. So it's just a little bit of music in the background. So, as you can see by the speaker, uh, it's managed to get quite dirty. It's a 4 ohm 2 watt. There's two of them. I cut this one off because when I got a bit of life out of this thing it sounded so awfully tinny that I can understand why my mate didn't really care whether he had it or not because it sounds terrible but if you put um, an 8 ohm speaker onto it, even though it, I don't know, it might be doing it some damage or something, um, it sounds a lot better. So just for the experiment, you know, I stuck the a tang speaker onto it, it did sound better. And I'll do that again in a minute. Uh, but I've left this one for a um, 2 watt speaker connected. I think it's, I don't know which channel it is, it's left or right. And to be fair, I don't actually think that's connected anymore. <laughs> okay, so, I don't know if you can see that, but it's dirty. It's dirty, mucky dirty. Let me bring the light down a bit closer. See if we adjust. <clears throat> uh, but it is pr it's pretty grubby. This is a Sony. Let's uh, pull that down so I can see. <clears throat> it's a Sony CXA169. One BM. Now I've not looked it up or anything just as yet. But I don't know if you can see all this. This is like really, really dirty. How do you turn this down a bit? Now all of this music, right, comes from this uh, Jamendo, Jamendo, yeah, music site where it's all royalty free. You're going to give them some credit. So for everybody that plays, I'll. Uh, I'll probably just copy and paste actually the whole list of stuff that's in this. I call it open source music because you know I'm not getting a profit. I'm not getting a profit for what I'm doing. I don't. I'm just a pillock putting stuff on the internet because <laughs> everyone else is, and so why can't I? Yeah, anyway, so back to the um, oh, the seriousness of the business. I got a funny feeling this is the amp chip. The the whole FM radio 
as there doesn't appear to be any other IC or transistors on here. Um, I don't know if you can see in there, but as you can see, look, there's not a great deal to it. Pastors, inductor, IF, RF, IF pots, uh, cans, whatever you want to call them. Headphone jack. Oh, I could actually pull that off, can I? Uh, I'll probably take that little board off and use that myself. Uh, just, uh, just an ideal thing for that. Um, I don't know if you can. I don't know if you can see inside there and the little coils. Uh, but the wax it looks like it's got an infection. <laughs> but you know, even if it's just a bag of poo, I, I get to salvage that tuning capacitor. Um, and as I've been building little radio circuits and stuff, that'll come in quite handy. Because they're like three and a half pounds to buy off eBay. That's bloody expensive. Considering I can get... Well, okay, let me have a look at that capacitor. Considering I can get like a... A Super Hedgestone radio sent from China for three and a half pounds with a tuning capacitor in it. And of course, the spare parts. I don't know if I got one, but I've had to decipher a little bit of Chinese to um, to know where to put the uh, the RF cans, and potential the uh, parts, whatever you want to call them. I call them transformers. I do, but I know which ones go where now. So I'm going to finish building that up, and they with this the actual um, capacitor didn't work. It was stiff; it wouldn't move, and when I did move it, it just bent up the dielectrics in between. I've chucked it all out now, I wish I'd have. There's part of it here, because I took it apart. So I wanted to see what was inside, but I chucked all the rest of the bits out. And it's only got this bit. There's only this. There's only this little bit left. It's one of the, one of the plates, parts of the plates. Yeah, but well, I took the rest of it out. Maybe I should have took it apart and showed people. But on the next one, the next one that I get that's damaged or whatever. Yeah, I've got one here, but I don't really want to take it apart because I use it for my little uh, AM radio. I've got another one here. I like this one. Yeah, nice bit of kit that, I like that. I'm gonna get myself some special cleaner for it. And go all posh on it, you know? <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, look at this man, spanking. I salvaged this the other day. Because I uh, build computers and fix them and stuff. And, and this was a, a gaming machine that came in. It was The board was knackered, so I built a new machine and they let me have the old machine so I got a nice graphics card out of that I put that in my computer because I had a nice uh, GeForce 780 uh, nice graphics card but I sold it so I could buy me a oscilloscope so I'm not allowed to have too many things so I get in trouble else and uh but that's look at that look so I can put myself a little MOSFET CVS driver on there uh, and the warmer it gets <laughs> The more it'll cool it. <laughs> awesome. I love scrapping some of these machines, but yeah, I've lost track now. What the hell I was going on about? So yeah, this is my little super heterodyne radio. It's a Chinese little jobby. I just got to put the. Uh, I just wait. I'm just waiting for this other capacitor they're sending me. Apparently, but I've got my new cans. I'm gonna pop them on, and that's all ready to go. But I believe there's a few solder connections you got to bridge across for it to actually work, which they don't tell you. Well, they do tell you, but it's in Chinese, and unless you, know, I say Chinese, it's in Mandarin. Unless you understand Mandarin and can, you know, 
do that language, which I can't because I'm quite ignorant. Um, yeah. There, uh, yeah, anyway, so that's uh, that's a little job going to get finished off. But, uh, no, it's always good to have these. It's always good to have little knobs as well that will turn the bloody things. So I, li I like these little things because people check out these little radios, so they didn't even think about it. To me, there's some good little parts on there if you're playing around with. But you've got the switch for starters, which on this one like, is the issue. The old tuning capacitor, and of course you get a knob. They're always handy to have these knobs, I'm telling you. Well handy. Anybody that's got anything you know that when you go near it sometimes it makes a difference in what it's but if you put a knob on there it stops pissing about, messing about, fucking about, whatever. My switch. So anyway. So we should power this up, shouldn't we? Get it squawking. This is the aerial wire. We've got a little aerial somewhere. Here it is. Here it is, here it is. This isn't a one-off. This is one-off. I think this comes off that little radio. I can't remember. This one comes off that little radio. And I suppose I could just change those over, couldn't I? Even though it doesn't look like it will fit. It's a different size. I've had noticed that a few times with these. Aerials from China. Got a couple of little kits here. I'm a bit confused about ordering them because I don't actually remember doing it because this looks like a clock and I think this is a clock too. <laughs> and the reason I say that is because look, it's got a thing to put the battery, which means it's memorising something. And they've got displays as well. Which gives an indication of how many of these things have I bought? Ah, oh, look, there's a crystal there, so. Let's pull it out, shall we? Have a little quick look. I know this ain't getting around to sorting this little radio receiver thing out, whatever. Oh, I'll tell you what I bought off eBay the other day. I bought a Benetone 1960s, I think it's 7 or 9 band uh, receiver. And I'm really looking forward to getting it. I paid eight pounds for it and about four, four or five pounds shipping. And I'm really looking forward to getting it. Oh, oh isn't that frustration when you've ripped through the plastic rather than the, the sealy part open? What is this? Oh, right, I see, yeah. I understand now what it is, yeah. I can't believe this video is 13 minutes long and I've done nothing. Right, okay, so you get waste of time projects. This was a waste of time video. Um, and really, it's pretty sad on me for not having a great deal else to do. <laughs> and don't laugh at me, it's pretty sad for you lot watching it. Okay, but yeah, so that's that. So that looks interesting, doesn't it? We'll have to build that and power it up and see what it does. Just not right this minute. So I'm supposed to be crapping around with this radio. I'll put that there. For Got another one here as well. Nice little Xeno diode. Momentary switch. We've got a bit of a chip IC going on there. It's going to be a clock in it. It's going to be. I don't know what it is. I still reckon I should put a breathalyzer on eBay. I've made a big hole in the bottom of this now. So all the all the components are going to fall out. Ooh. Oh, you're joking, haven't I just built one of these? Holy moly. I'm sure I just built one of these not long ago. I really need to lay off the pop I do. I'm sure I've just done one of these. F me, look at this look. 
What have we got going on here? Oh, it's not the same thing. Okay, that's not so bad. But it does look quite similar, doesn't it? <laughs> I've got the same thing, but a slightly different shape. Oh, no, 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 no. This one hasn't got one of these bloody awful noise things on it. Okay, that's more promising. Because I don't think there's a noise thing unless it goes here, but it doesn't look like the same brown symbol as that one's got. Because this is just awful. This is like a clock which doesn't have a battery backup anywhere which maybe I could uh, adjust that oh no look it's 12 volt input hacking <laughs> oh sorry I shouldn't swear between 12 uh, 5 volt sorry and 12 volt input uh, and this one oh this is the same thing but it's got a battery backup so if I can battery backup on here with 12 5 volt 12 input I should be able to hack this with a battery onto it shouldn't I? I wonder if I can figure that out by looking at how this is uh, and then try and work out if it's the same especially if they're the same ICs 889C2050 889C2051 2051 <gasps> My life, these are the same So do you know what we're going to do? Not right now But what we're going to do Is because this takes a battery backup system I'm going to put a battery backup system on the back of here And hack into this chip Where this one leads in The battery backup system Onto here Whatever it takes necessary And I'm going to make this one battery backup too But just not right now because right now the video has got too long and we're not even going to look at this radio we're going to do that in the next one we're going to sort out why that's not actually switching on even though I've not wired it up so trust me this thing does not work um, and we're going to see if we can get it working anyway I'm sorry for you know not actually doing anything in particular and I shall see you in the next one where we will do something I love it, it's getting more and more like English every time I look. Yep, more and more like English. So I can't believe how much time I've cracked on and how little I've done. And I shall see you in the next one. Bye for now. <laughs>